What's up? What's happening? What is popping? What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to another great edition of Simone with the Spizzards. I'm Simone, bringing you guys daily sports talk. So if you're new here, if you're old here and haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Stop what you're doing. Leave a comment. Subscribe. Keep rocking with me. Also, make sure you check out the links down below. The first one is to buy me a coffee to help fuel this channel. The second link is to shop the official Simone with the Spizzards, a merch collection. But guys, if you have not done anything else, Turn your notification bells on right now so you don't miss a single video or a single live stream. And you know this off season is going to be crazy. So make sure you are here for the ride and have your notification bells on. But y'all, let's go ahead and get into the news today. So the Philadelphia Eagles front office will be hosting exit interviews today, wrapping up the end of the season. Um, Nick Sirianni will have his exit interviews today so we'll see maybe today is a day where we figure out whether he's staying or he's going but i feel like since the exit interview is today we won't find out for i don't think we'll find out today if the exit interview is today because i think the front office will you know talk take into consideration everything that he has to say basically in the exit interviews they talk about what went wrong this season um what they plan to change next season if it's going to be um coordinator changes they present to the table basically what coordinators they will want to interview what coordinators they will want to bring in and basically map out a plan for next season so if nick sirianni is having his exit interview today i doubt that he will get fired or rehired today unless he go up in there and give a heck of a speech a heck of a good speech or a heck of a terrible ass speech but regardless there's going to be a lot of changes, I feel like. Whether Nick stays or Nick goes, we know it's going to be some coordinator changes in the building because there was an ESPN report that came out the other day. It came out on Monday, um, right before the Buccaneers game, that Jalen Hurts expressed disinterest in the front office. Let me go ahead and read the report. Um, not in the front office, on, on the offense. So Jalen Hurst's desired direction for the offense has not materialized, which has been a source of disappointment for the franchise quarterback, according to a source with direct knowledge of Jalen Hurst's thinking. A disconnect between the visions of Sirianni, Hurts, and offensive coordinator Brian Johnson has affected the offense's ability to land on an identity, the source said. So we saw that came out on Monday. Jalen Hurts obviously frustrated with, the offense, we know who's at the core of this offense, Nick Sirianni. So basically, not happy with the direction Nick Sirianni is taking this offense in. Now, Jalen Hurst was asked about that report after the Buccaneers lost, and Jalen did not deny that he said those words. Basically confirming that he was disgruntled, is disgruntled with the offense, um, and Nick Sirianni's direction for the offense. So if Jalen Hurts is 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 dissatisfied with Nick Sirianni, I think it's very hard to see him back in Philly next season. Plus, you guys, I am a Virgo, okay? So I'm a Virgo. Virgos were very over analytical. So when Jalen Hurts had his press conference, um, when AJ Brown broke his media silence, um, that was before the Giants game, I believe. And Jalen Hurts had his press conference um, later that day. And the media asked Jalen Hurts how about Nick Sirianni and basically um, how he feels like Nick Sirianni has been doing. And Jalen said, um, he's doing his best. What have you noticed about Nick? What stood out about him during this stretch? Um, he's just got his head down, uh, working. Uh, trying to trying to do his best. Now, we know when somebody say somebody is doing their best, that's a nice way to say, you ain't she. That's a nice way to say, you ain't doing she. Like, you did your best. You tried your best. Like, did you give it your best? Did you give it your all? That's all that matters. That's like a, a pity. That's like giving somebody pity. You know what I'm saying? So when I heard Jalen say that, in that press conference, that's on my page. Um, on my page, that video was titled Jalen Hurts on Nick Sirianni and A.J. Brown. That was after A.J. Brown broke his media silence. When I heard Jalen Hurts say that, I was like, maybe I'm thinking too hard. But this is a coach that he's been with for 
three seasons now, I believe that if he really was 10 toes down for Nick, then he would be defending him much harder. Like Jalen knows Nick was on the hot seat. Jalen has been with Nick for three seasons and the most that you can come up with defending him is he's doing his best. He's doing his best. Somebody, so I'm saying that's basically, that was basically in my mind indicating that Jalen, I don't with you. You know what I'm saying? And then this report coming out. Now, I didn't say that then. Notice, y'all, I did not say that then. Because, again, that was just my Virgo mind working. But now that this report came out on Monday, I'm like, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Because when Jalen was asked to defend Nick and his response was, Nick is doing his best. <laughs> Come on. That's a pitiful defense. That's a pitiful defense. Come on, y'all. He's doing his best. Y'all know what doing, do, just doing my best. You know when you down bad and somebody asks you, how you been, girl? Oh, I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best. Come on. That means just getting by. That's just getting by. That's what he said about Nick. He's doing his best. Come on. That's pitiful. So with the exit interviews coming up, they're going to have to have a hard, Nick going to have to have a hard plan defending himself. Because, shoot, Jalen did deny the report. The report is out. Um, Jeff McClain brought up a great report, a great point. Um, in 2020, when Doug Peterson had his exit interview, the Eagles were expecting to keep Doug Peterson, but they were not satisfied with the coordinator candidates that Doug Peterson brought to the table and then eventually fired him. So Nick is kind of in the same situation. He They expect the Eagles to bring him back, but he has to come with a solid, foolproof, Jalen Hurts approved plan. Or he hanging in his silver wings, baby. First of all, never mind, we're not even going there. We're not even going there. But Nick Sirianni's body language in that last press conference was given defeated to me. Um he was breaking down. He was on the verge of tears. And I feel like that's because he thought his job, he thinks his job is in question because why are you about to cry on the podium when we knew we were losing this game? You knew you were losing this game. Look at that bougie ad game plan you brought to the table. The same bougie ad game plan you've been bringing to the table for the past few weeks, the, the whole season. So why you're not about to cry on the podium because you really thought you were going to win this game. Nick was about to cry on that podium in that final press conference after the Bucks because I feel like he believes his job is in question. He definitely thinks his job is in question because there's no way he was about to cry because he really thought we were going to beat the Bucks. Not with that bougie ad game plan. Now, he might have been about to cry because he got that popcorn throwing him. Maybe. But I feel like the body language that Nick had in that final press conference, like really about to cry... Like, when you knew you was about to lose this game, you knew you were going to lose this game, so what are you getting emotional for? I feel like he was emotional because he knew he on that hot seat. Child, child, child. Buckle up, babies. Buckle up. Um, the players are cleaning out their lockers today. There will be player media availability today. So make sure you have your notification bells on because I'm going to be dropping the good sound bites. You know how I do. I'm going to be looking for them good sound bites. You know they're going to be asking the people about Nick Sirianni. They're going to be asking the players about Nick Sirianni. Nick Sirianni will not speak to the media today. Howie Roseman won't. Lori won't. They in that interview right now. I know that. The air in that room got to be thick. Thick. You could probably cut that air with a knife, baby. That air in that room got to be thick. But, yeah, we will hear from some players today, so I'm going to get y'all the good sound bites. Y'all buckle up. Buckle up. Because the, 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 the she about to start popping off. It's about to start popping off. But, y'all, make sure you have your notification bells on. Make sure you're subscribed. Keep rocking with me, and until I talk to you guys next time, bye.